Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I am Batman's new enemy, the Sniffler. I have sniffled my way out of prison and um, now back to fight the evil uh, or opposite. Um, today we're gonna fight this evil. My battery UPS has um, started blinking red. That's never a good sign. That means that the batteries are done for, most likely. So I want to take the batteries out of there and um, measure them. I'm anticipating that at least some of them has gone bad. This UPS hasn't been sitting there for that long. Before that there was an HP UPS sitting there, but it's the same UPS inside because they are both made by Eton, I think it's called, and they're just branded UPSs and they slap their front with their logo on there. The sniffle. Yeah, I am done for it. So I need to go around the back and disconnect it and reroute my server to not be using it. It hasn't been working for a while, but I replaced the UPS just to have the IBM one here because I like IBM better, even though it's the same UPS inside, but I moved the batteries over. So the batteries are a little bit older than that. And those were replacement batteries that I got from an awesome subscriber I was doing a video on batteries and whining about not working and he uh, just dryly said check your PayPal and sure enough there was the money for the batteries that I was dreaming about so I had no excuse I um, got replacement batteries for it and uh, it has been running for two three four years I forget it has only been in use once there has only been one power outage here at my playhouse in like four years. Unfortunately, that power outage took long enough for the, the UPS to be drained as well. And I wasn't at home and uh, the internet I hadn't put on the UPS, so I couldn't keep up with what was happening. So I was a bit of a bummer. Plus I think most of the city was without internet as well because of, well, how the internet works here. So yeah, let's uh, get to it. Let's. Um, Let's disconnect it and take the batteries out and take them down to the basement and have a little measuring on them. Okay, I have uh, removed all the load from the UPS. Now I'm gonna go and unplug the, the power, uh, the input power of it. And you can tell me what happens if it tries to stay up or if it just dies. Or editing mode will probably do that. It died. Okay, so that definitely tells us that the battery is <coughs> done for. Oh, let's get the cover off. Do I remember how to do that? I think it just pops off. Yeah, it does. There. Oh, I need screws. Hmm. Didn't see one coming. So a tool run later. I have a Phillips screwdriver and these tiny. Taco, um, I don't know what that's called, but um, it's one of my favorite tools. It's, it's so little and tiny, I, I like it. I don't know what this is called in English, but um, here it's called a uh, pulley grip tank, or a papagoi tank, or a rörpumpe tank. I think it has three names, but I might be wrong about that. Here. I had loosened them, so it comes out really easily, I think, I hope. Uh, oh, the bottom comes out, yes. Maybe, yeah, it's moving. Come on out. I said you would come out, so come out. Did they mean he made so that has to be removed? That's... Nah. Ah. There we are. This battery box has seen better days. Um, I was playing around with batteries for a long time. And as it had uh, come out of uh, previous batteries, this plastic has seen some ASIC vapors. I think 
the handle is pull here okay we'll do that ah seems like we have some fat batteries here this is the battery pack yeah they have swallowed up some of them that is not good another 10 dead batteries let's bring them to the basement and have a measure okay it has reached the basement it doesn't look great I forget which side opens up let's check ah this one okay and we want to open it up that way we'll take the tape off feels very much like the bottom of it probably need some new tape anyway I'm not sure I'm gonna keep repairing this old thing they have uh, been really hot in there they have kind of glued themselves to the lead here so that is not great and all of them has swallowed up so that is also not that great let's do a little measure measuring thing here voltage let's see if we have anything usable we have five point we have six volts that's a bit on the low side and here we have one volt yep definitely super bad batteries here this pack I just got the batteries and all the plastic and the connections and all the the things here are from the old one that also got bad oh you can see how the acid has vaporized out of the batteries here that's yeah I probably should have disconnected this sooner we can disconnect it now it's not worth anything and as I showed there is no voltage on it so this could be dangerous if all of them was connected in one string and fully charged I could be having uh, 96 volts plus here and that wouldn't be nice I taped this cable it weren't it didn't go very well in the in the package with the lead and stuff I remember that when I put it in so let's have the cells out did I glue these to the bottom I think so <laughs> okay they have glued them to each other can you hear that <laughs> holy moly they have been so hot that they have melted themselves together that's not how they're supposed to look so do we have any voltage on this i doubt it but let's just for the heck of it see how much we are at 0 0.089 yeah bye bye that flat anymore persuasion tool hot negotiator This is how they are put in series. They have these nice clips that you can then. So 
very easy way to do it. I'm sure these clips are difficult to make, but they make a really good connection. And there's a lot of metal there. <laughs> yeah, that's a 38 volt battery, if I've seen them. Yeah, I, I kind of see holes in the plastic here. I didn't make that. One of the other batteries, oh, there's holes in that one as well. That's not fantastic, you know, that you can look at the, at the plates in there. So I think we have some goners here. Don't think we're gonna be able to do anything. Uh, it's, it's a waste. These batteries are quite expensive. Oh yeah, this is, this one has grown into the next one and broken it. Could have been this one. And if they were sitting like that, that one grew into that one and I broke both of them probably. This one is pretty bad as well. Hmm. This one is one of the better ones. I think that was the first one we took out. This one, look at the plastic, it has been really warm. Also bolted out there, both sides. Yeah, we have some batteries for the recycling. And we have, we have two winners here. 2.29 some volts and 2.09 volts, that's the ones with the most voltage on them, the rest is just wasted. I got curious. I can see that I purchased this in August 2017. So they actually lasted four years and a little bit. They're also still selling them. <laughs> they have become six pounds more expensive. This is in the UK, uh, six pounds more expensive. And the shipping has gone up with six pounds. So that's 12 pounds extra in four years. Plus the UK has now uh, exited EU, so there would be taxes and all kind of stuff. So this would actually become too expensive to get from the UK. So this UPS was not really a UPS that IBM was selling uh, just by itself. This was uh, as part of one of their storage systems. The storage system came with its own UPSs so that if the power would go out, uh, it would keep going. Let's see, it needs to go down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock it up and just let it sit here. I am dreaming of getting a new UPS. This one is, well, it actually says on the, on the battery pack here, this battery pack is from 2002 and it was recharged in November 2003. So it's, it's oldish. <laughs> I'm dreaming of a new UPS with a digital display that will tell me how the battery voltages and stuff is, is doing. Maybe even tell me when the red light starts blinking, what is going on. And um, also would really like one with lithium ion batteries, but boy, are they expensive. I would like a, a, another 2U unit, about 2000 uh, VA or or 2000 watts uh, the power that it's going to be able to supply then there is how long it's going to be able to supply that power um, depends on how many how much batteries really depends on how much batteries there are in there but yeah but it depends more on your load so yeah right now it's just a placeholder looks good in the rack totally useless it was also useless before we took out the batteries um, we just didn't know. So in a real professional environment you wouldn't mess around with replacing the batteries this way. You would buy a done package from a respectable brand like an original IBM package for an IBM UPS or an APC UPS. You would get an original APC battery pack or for the Eton you would get an original Eton battery package. 
I got an off-brand because for my home use I'm kind of cheap I want best value for the buck and as such four years isn't bad for 130 pounds something like 30 30 some pounds a year for a UPS battery not bad actually so um, I am looking for a new UPS to you nice digital display hopefully also a network port so that I can connect to it from a PC I'm sure I could get a network card for this as well uh, it has a serial connections which I have hooked up but never used I didn't even bother to start it up in this video I knew it was bad the software that it uses I've only gotten it to run in Windows XP so I would have to get on my old laptop to connect to it and I have long forgotten the password so I would have to try and restore that from memory and see if I could get some useful data from there which is often a problem so for now I'm just gonna be running without a UPS as said we have had one power outage in those four years I only got to test this once and I wasn't even at home which irritates me I could of course just go trip the breaker but you don't really do that when everything is running just fine so uh, so if you want to help me out here go visit my little shop where I sell you stuff for horrific overprices so that I can afford this stuff that breaks all the time no it doesn't matter but thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye <laughs>